What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Pokemon Ash Rail. Let's play last time. We'll let Pikachu stay with his friends in the forest, but then it came back, so it's all cool. Hey, look! Somebody abandoned this Eevee. <coughs> it's an Eevee, but it might have a trainer. It has a tag on its car that says Stone Town. Maybe you should return it to its owner. How about it? I guess. I got an Eevee! Hooray! There it is right there, level 10. It's a pretty chill, Eevee. You know, got tackle, couple of, couple other moves that are totally lame though. So let's uh, let's find the Stone Town. Oh, that's pretty easy. Stone Town. That was, that was really easy. Oh, Eevee! I hid it in the forest, and my brothers wouldn't make it evolve. They're known as the Eevee Brothers because they all have evolutions of Eevee. But I just want to be an Eevee trainer. I'll take Eevee back now. I guess, I mean... Thanks for bringing Eevee back to me! Yeah, I guess. Uh, so I guess I gotta battle these guys? Before Eevee Brothers? That's probably not a good idea at this particular part. I'll put Bulbasaur in front for this guy. I think that's a good decision. Welcome to our evolution garden party. Let's compare attacks! Alright. Oh, this guy looks like a uh, swimmer Rainer. Rainer, Vaporeon. I get it. Very clever Pokemon. Very clever. Ooh, that bite does a lot, and I get flinched? What the heck? Now it does a quick attack. That's better. Now I can leech seed it, get some, get some good old HP back. Even though I have a feeling my, uh... My Razor Leaf will do a lot of damage. It's gonna use Bite again. It does a good amount of freaking damage, and I get flinched again. What is going on? Alright, this time I'm not gonna get flinched because he's gonna use a quick attack. Sweet. Ah, <laughs> oh, really, Bulbasaur? I don't get flinched, and you miss? What the hell? Now I move first, finally. Razor Leaf hits, and. Gets a crit hit, but does not kill. Wow, that did not do any damage, really. And Bulbasaur is going to win with a uh, Leech Seed. It's a good thing I got that Leech Seed in there, otherwise that battle would have been tough as hell. And Bulbasaur gets a lot of experience out of that. Tough. You could say that. So let's... Bulbasaur back there and bring out uh, Charmander here. We could take the lucky egg quickly from Pidgeotto and give it to Charmander to get some more experience. Lucky egg. And let's head over to this guy. If history's taught me... Uh, if history's taught us anything, it's that the only way to survive is to evolve. This guy likes uh, Darwin. Big Darwin fan. So it's Sparky. Rocker Sparky, he's got a Jolteon, and I got a Charmander, so take that. Double kick, it's not going to do a lot. Flamethrower should take a big chunk, hopefully. Razor Leaf didn't do as much as I was hoping to Flareon, but yeah, that does not do anything, really. You know what, freaking Seismic Toss might actually do more. We'll do another Flamethrower. Let's try let's try Seismic Toss for the win. I think that will take out this Jolteon. Seismic Toss will hit and take out the Jolteon. I don't think a Flamethrower would have taken him out, though. So Charmander gets a lot of experience there. Goes all the way up to level 34. And we defeat the second Eevee brother with our Charmander. So let's move Charmander out back and put Squirtle in the front. They got their three, three evolutions. Well, I got my three starters. This party is for celebrating the evolution of Pokemon with evolutionary stones. Yeah, well, I don't roll that way. Kindler Pyro. I had a, I had a Pokemon named Pyro in my last, my last Let's Play for Pokemon. He was pretty chill. <laughs> Get it? No, because it doesn't make any sense. Pyro, chill. They're the opposites. Think about it. <laughs> so I use Rain Dance there just to get up the 
power of my water pulse and take down the power of his fire moves. I think it does both. I think it does both. I'm not quite sure, but I think it does. So Squirtle does about half and confuses the Flareon. So this next water pulse should take out the Flareon. Doesn't really matter what Flareon does. Hurts itself in confusion. And Squirtle will take out the Flareon with Water Pulse if it would hit. Come on, Squirtle. Get your head in the game. So it's confused, and it hurts itself in confusion. Well, that Flareon is totally stupid. Squirtle, though, goes up to level 34. And we defeat the Kindler Pyro. Your Pokemon are pretty strong. Maybe you should think about evolving them. Try this. Ooh, I got a Firestone. That's pretty chill. Your Pokemon are pretty strong. Maybe you should think about evolving them. Try this. Ooh, a Thunderstone. I wonder if the last guy's going to give me a Waterstone. Oh, I don't have room for it. He would have. Oh, let's get rid of Ice Heal. I don't need that. Oh, that Pokedoll. I could just sell that, though. No, I got a Waterstone. I should just sell those stones. Mikey says he wants to be an EV trainer. If he felt that way about it, he should have told us sooner. Are they all going to say it? Yep. Okay. 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 Evolution Mountain. Let's, let's check around here and see if we can find... Nope. Can't go anywhere. So that is Stone Town and the Battling Eevee Brothers. Well, I think... I think that's all for today. Got some, got some good experience there. I'm going to put Pidgeotto back in the front. And give him back the Lucky Egg. Seems appropriate that a bird Pokemon. Ah, oh, crap! I gotta give Charmander. Why not? I gave Charmander a Poke Doll. Why not? All right, now I can give Pidgeotto the Lucky Egg. Okay. Yeah. So that is all for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.